Building websites with RapidWeaver is incredibly simple. In this tutorial, we'll look at the basics of creating a new project, how to add pages and content, choose a theme, and publish your site. The project window is shown when launching RapidWeaver. It can also be accessed by selecting the file menu and choosing Projects window. Here we can choose to create a new project, select a recently open project, or open an example project. We're going to create a new project by pressing the New Project button in the Projects window. Let's add a page to the site. Press the Add button in the Rapid Weaver toolbar. The toolbar is the Chrome area that runs along the top of the project window. Pressing the Add button will show the Add menu. Move your cursor down over the Add menu and hover over the All Plugins option. The term plugin is used to describe each page type in RapidWeaver. RapidWeaver ships with a number of built in page types or plugins, and many other third party plugins are also available to download and install. Some of the built in plugins include the Contact Form plugin, which adds a contact page to your site that includes a pre built form that visitors can fill in to contact you by email. Another built in plugin which you may often use is the Photo Album plugin. The Photo Album plugin makes it easy to add a photo gallery or slideshow to your site. For now, we'll start by selecting the Styled Text plugin. The Styled Text plugin is the most commonly used page type in RapidWeaver, since it makes it easy to add and format both text and images, as we'll find out. You'll notice that as RapidWeaver adds the first page to the project, the sidebar is now shown. The sidebar includes the pages list, as well as a resources area. We'll look at adding resources and files to projects in a later tutorial. Let's rename this page to Home. Let's add some text to the new home page. You can enter text by typing in the page views content area, or pasting the contents of the clipboard into the page by selecting Paste from under the Edit menu. Formatting text in styled text pages will be familiar if you're used to Pages, Word, Text Edit, or any other word processor. You can style selected text by choosing from the options available in the formatting bar, shown at the bottom of the content area, as well as by choosing from the style options in the format menu, located in the menu bar. As well as text, the styled text pages allow us to easily add images. Let's drag and drop a picture from the desktop directly into the page. Try center aligning an image by clicking to select the image, then press the center align button in the formatting bar. As content is added to the project, we want to check how the site will look once it's published. Press the preview button shown under the toolbar in the project window to open a preview of the current page. Pressing the Preview button when in Preview mode will show the Device menu. The Device menu includes four handy presets to help simulate previewing your site on different devices and screen sizes. Try selecting the iPhone and iPad options to preview the site as if viewed on a mobile device. While we're previewing how the published site will look, let's look at the design and style of the site in a little more detail. The starting point for the design of any RapidWeaver website is the theme. RapidWeaver ships with dozens of beautiful themes. Let's take a look at a few. Press the Themes button in the toolbar to show the theme browser. The theme browser is shown at the bottom of the project window. Scroll through the theme previews and select a theme. As you select different themes, the preview refreshes to show how your site would look using the chosen theme. When you are happy with a the chosen theme, press the Themes button to hide the theme browser. Before publishing any RapidWeaver project, the web address of the site needs to be defined so that RapidWeaver can correctly generate links between the files that make up the site. To enter a web address, we'll switch to the Project Settings view. Click the tool icon at the top of the sidebar, or select Project Settings from the View menu. We'll add a web address in the General section of Project Settings. This is where the name or title of the site can be set. 
We can also edit the site's slogan or choose to hide it completely. Let's enter the address for this site using the web address field. Once the site's title and web address are confirmed, select the pages icon at the top of the sidebar to exit project settings back to the main page view. Let's save the project. Select the file menu and choose save. RapidWeaver automatically suggests the project name based on the title of the site. Confirm where you'd like to save the project to. We'll save this project to the desktop. Now that the project has been saved, we can publish the site to an online server. Press the Publish button in the toolbar. The Publishing Setup view will be shown. The Publishing Setup view allows us to enter the credentials required to upload the project's files to the server. The Publishing Setup can also be accessed by choosing File, Publishing Settings. Enter your publishing credentials. These should be provided by your web host. Publishing credentials can vary between different hosts. This is especially true for the path field. The path notes the folder on the web server where your hosts expect your website to be uploaded to. Once publishing credentials have been entered, press Test Connection to check that the server settings are valid. With valid credentials entered in the publishing setup, press Publish to start uploading the project. Once RapidWeaver has finished publishing the project, press Visit Website to open the website in your default browser. Now we can view the published RapidWeaver site live on the server. Be sure to check out our other videos for more RapidWeaver tips, tutorials and guides.